Hey there, this is Manny, and my tip for you is how to deal the maximum damage in War Awards. We're using the Crimson Hawk with Volt and Gauss as an example, because obviously leveled up weapons deal more damage. But if you really want to do the max damage, you gotta use a combination of the right modules, the right pilot, and the right pilot skills, right? 800 meters range weapons we have, the best pilot is Basil Lapat in this case, for the 7.5% increase. Don't forget the Power Man skills to boost your recharge rate by another 25%. Then passive modules, thermonuclear reactor, 10% each overdrive 25% each but you've got to take damage in order to activate it then we have the microchips on the drones and the B slots in particular give you bonus damage upon use of your active module in this case it's 40% on this I drone right pairing all those things increases your damage exponentially of course instead of the jump unit we could use the death mark for an even greater boost but I like jump unit so we go with this 67,000 damage a basic shot with the microchip drone activation 92,000 damage and and then if we activate the overdrive or let the enemy deal damage to us and have overdrive running and use the drone at the same time, the active module, then we get to a whopping 133,000 damage here or 34 almost with all the boosts running at the same time. So this is how you actually do maximum damage. Keep in mind though, this costs a lot of power cells to do, but if it's the question about how to do max damage, that's how it goes. All right, so uh, greetings. Hey guys, Adrian here. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my tips for getting more kills in your games to help you complete the kills task. So the first thing that I usually do is I use high burst damage weapons that reload fast. Uh, things like shotguns, rockets, uh, you know, flamethrowers. Uh, if we actually go to the uh, workshop here, I can show you which weapons I would focus on uh, to complete this task. So uh, weapons like Glacier, uh, Cryo, Rhyme, Igniter, um, Avalanche could work as well, but um, I tend to focus on weapons that are 350 meters and under. Okay, so uh, Blaze, uh, let's see, Halo, um, we have the Glory here, the Corona, Exodus, uh, Pulsar can work too, it has a fast reload time, but again, I tend to focus on 350 meters and under, uh, Redeemer and Ember. So those are the weapons that I typically focus on uh, in order to complete this task. And the other thing that I wanted to also mention is before you engage the enemy, always make sure that you have a full clip or close to a full clip. I often see players uh, engaging and they have like 70% or like 60% of their ammo. Uh, the more ammo you have, the greater the chances of you getting that kill. Uh, so always do that. And uh, also, if you are playing Beacon Rush or Domination, I tend to gravitate uh, closer towards the beacons because I know the enemy is going to go for a beacon. And that's typically where you find uh, all the damage, uh, if you want to get high damage, always gravitate towards uh, beacons and also with that, you know, usually comes kills. So, um, you know, those are the things I wanted to focus on. Uh, also, uh, aim for robots with like low health. Um, if they have uh, no resistance or no shield, definitely go for them first. Um, that's typically what I do. Uh, but yeah, those are my tips uh, to help you complete this task. So thanks for watching my guide for getting more kills. Hello everyone, Iger here. I will touch on some tips and tricks on how to spawn titans faster. Titans are special and giant robots that cannot be spawned right when you start a battle. You need to fill the so-called titan progress bar in order to spawn yours. This bar fills up slowly every second you stay in battle. But what can you do to fill it as fast as possible? There are three main things that contribute the most at filling the titan progress bar. Getting beacons, liberating beacons and getting kills. For accomplishing these goals, the best suited thing to do is using a setup that has a decent balance between speed, firepower and self-defense or durability. There can be many robots that have this balance. I would like to give Nemesis and Phantom as an example. They are durable, they can go for and liberate beacons and they can get kills as well with their average firepower. But don't be tempted to storm in enemy lines single-handedly or rush in for all the beacons. Keep in mind the Titan progress bar also feels faster for the team that has less beacons and more depleted beacon bar. War Robots is a team game so there is a good possibility that enemy team might be rushing in for the beacons better. In that case your team will have a more depleted beacon bar. What you need to do is focus on eliminating the beacon rushers first and then aim for liberating beacons. In such scenarios titan meter bar will fill up faster than you might expect. 
What else to do to fill the titan bar faster? You can also use a healing bot to heal yourself and allies. Both will contribute to spawning your titan faster. Dealing damage also contributes to the titan meter bar, but not all weapons or weapon times fill it equally. Dealing damage with certain type of weapons will contribute more than others. There are just so many types of equipment in war robots that I cannot cover in a short amount of time. But just to give an example, dealing damage with shredder fills the titan meter faster than dealing damage with Halo. Alright, that would be my short guide on how to spawn Titans faster. I hope it was helpful. My tip for killing more Reds with a DSC faction bot is to choose Invader and build it up to take out meta bots like Shell and tanky bots like Fenrir. Be ready for any Red with this incredible build. Recommend three heavy armor kits. It's possible to build Invader into an HP monster, especially the Arachnid one. Advance repairing it to repair all that beautiful HP over and over again. Regarding microchips, recommend the Freezer microchip. Get those reds nice and cold. They will take 20% more damage. That can be very advantageous against these powerful red opponents. As we observe, this thing can take quite the hit and keep on going. Brawl until your heart's delight. Pilot training, crucial. Let's look at that. Tough guy, armor expert. Pile on the durability. Mechanic, wonder worker. Repair, again and again. Master gunsmith is particularly high for invader. Roadhog to move around faster and dodger to repair even more and more. As we can see here, every part is important. The nebula drone is a great match. Recommend Recurrent in Trouble Absorber for the shield and two Revitalizing Defenders. You can really show who's boss with this build. Don't let those shells get away and all of it together makes an incredible champion bot through and through. For more information, visit Justice Review. Justice out. Hey, what's up everyone? Danny Lightning back from the Lightning WR YouTube channel and we're gonna talk about the task called Killing Space Tech Robots. So all you gotta do is find some red dudes from the space tech faction and make them some dead dudes, alright? So you're probably wondering which robots are part of the space tech faction, so let's go over that list right now. So we got the Hawks, all three of the flying dragon bots like Al June and his brothers, we got the Ravens, the Hovers, the Natashas, we got Cossack, we got Regattas, we got Vaez, and the Griffins. So all you gotta do is look for those dudes on the battlefield and take them out. Alright, smash those guys up, bash those guys up, and that's gonna help you complete this task. That's really about all there is to it. This one's really cut and dry. So find space tech bot bots and wipe them out, guys. Alright, hope you enjoyed this tip and we will catch you later. Hey guys, Igor here. In this short time interval, I will talk about Yandi robots and killing them. But first, let us understand what Yandi stands for. According to War Robots lore, Yandi Ventures is a financial and energy conglomerate. It is represented by this symbol, and it is one of the five factions in War Robots. Just like in all other factions, there are multiple robots associated with this faction. Based on the lore, remarkable inventions of Yandi Ventures are modules, power cells, stealth system, and phase shift. Robots associated with this faction are Stalker, Strider, Hellburner, Inquisitor, Falcon, Mercury, Pursuer, Spectre, Ravna, and Scorpion. And the titan of this faction is Sharanga. As you see, there are many robots with stealth ability in this faction. When you need to kill those robots, the best way to counter them is to use the active module Quantum Radar on regular robots and passive module Quantum Sensor on your Titan. With these modules, killing Stalker, Inquisitor, Mercury, Pursuer and Spectre becomes much easier to do since they heavily rely on their stealth. Hellburner and Strider don't have stealth, but they rely on their speed, so the best way to counter them is by immobilizing using freeze or lockdown effects. You can apply these effects by using freeze or lockdown microchips, weapons using these specific traits like cryogenic rockets and lockdown shotguns, or by using the active module lockdown ammo. Killing Ravana and Scorpion can be tricky. Scorpion can quickly teleport back when in danger and Ravana can use multiple abilities back to back and use multiple phase shifts on top, making it 
invincible for a long period of time. The best way to counter these two is using the EMP ability of Typhon, which completely blocks out their ability usage and makes them vulnerable. Second effective way is to use something with a high HP and good defense like Fenrir. Using a Scorpion is also highly recommended to counter both of these two. Falcon is usually used with a traditionalist skill, which makes its effective durability very high. For medium range, using corrosion weapons like Hornet can be very useful since DOT effect of those weapons bypass the damage resistance of Falcon completely. For close range, using high damage output weapons like flamethrowers or sonic shotguns will help in taking it down faster. Sharanga can be the hardest to take down from the entire Yandi ventures. It is a titan with very high HP alongside an astounding firepower. The best the best way to take it down is using another titan. With Nodens for example you can suppress it and deal damage as long as it stays suppressed then get back to cover. With Minos you can activate your reflector and do the same thing but try to keep your distance at least 350 meters away from Shuranga. If you get closer than that it might use its face exile ability making your ability go to waste. That's briefly about killing Yandi robots. I hope it was helpful. Hey what's up everyone this is your boy Droopy Sack. I'm super blessed to be here with y'all today to share with you a tip that I know has been very helpful for me in the game because I don't have MK2 level 12 everything so yeah, definitely need a little bit of hookup at the HP you know what I'm saying so the first thing we want to consider is getting the pilot skills for that specific bot that has to do with healing now let's say for the Aljun there's four of them you have the mechanic which is going to repair 0.08 percent per second the other one is adamant mechanic and that one is if the enemy controls three or more beacons. And right off the bat, it's gonna be 0.15% of your maximum HP is gonna be restored every second. The Raider mechanic, and that's after you capture a beacon, that's gonna repair 3.5% right off the bat of your, your maximum durability. And the last one is the Wonder Worker, and that one is going to restore 2% of your maximum durability uh, right away after you activate the um the special ability the second one is the active modules either the repair unit and that's going to be repairing five percent of your maximum hp and then you also have the advanced repair unit which is going to re be repairing ten percent of your maximum hp and those two modules have a cooldown of 20 seconds so you got to figure out you know of your pilot skills and of your active modules which ones are going to be kind of playing the predominant role in getting your bots hp up to where you feel comfortable the last one is the bots so healing other people and also yourself taking into account which bot do you have in your hangar because of the healing bots that we have in the game you have you have your tier tyr tire tier you have your mender your Wayland, your Dementor, and your Nightingale. But then you also have the Noden, which is a Titan. You have the pilot skills, get the pilot skills on your bot, upgrade those pilot skills if you have the gold available, active modules, the repair unit or the advanced repair unit. No matter where you are in the world, I hope you, your friends, and your family are happy, healthy, and safe, and good luck to you, and uh, peace. Hey, what's up everyone? This is AD Gaming, and here is my tip for the capture more beacon task of the new update. And I will tell you a few tips how to do it much effectively and much faster. So first of all, we all know that the speed is the key part for winning this game. Also to capture more beacons with speed robots. So you need to use a speed robots like a Loki, Orochi, Phantom, any kind of speed robot that you have on your lineup will help you to capture more beacons in this game. Secondly, you need to make sure when you are starting the game, if it's a beacon rush, you need to first of all, if you can, get the beacon first, if with the speed robot. And it leads me to, to the second important thing I want to, to say. You need to have at least one tank on your hand gear. And why I'm saying that? Because if you will get the beacon first with the speed robot, and even if you will be destroyed by the enemies, you can guard the beacon with the tank. And if the enemy is turning the beacon white, you can get the beacon back. And that's why you can get more beacons. The third one, the third tip is to play domination, guys. If you are playing domination, on domination mode, the enemies cannot spawn back on the beacon and this is actually can be really good because you can get more beacons like that if you are using a speed robot like a loki 
you can take all the beacons and even if the enemies they are taking the beacon on the other side you can go back to the other side with the speed robot and take the beacon back without worrying that the enemies will spawn again this is another thing you need to know and the last tip and this is, is gonna be unusual tip you know if you are using phase shift the phase shift makes you to lose the beacon control so you can you can use it for your advantage for this task you need to know exactly when to use it if you are using the ravana also the ravana you can use your ability the transcendence ability you can lose the beacon and you can turn it white you can say and then finish off the enemy and take the beacon back this is an unusual tip but it can help you to get more beacons and this is it was a just a few tips for finishing this task i hope these few tips will help you to improve your beacon capturing abilities and until next time have a good day slash night